I love team sports, but out here you can't turn to your coach or help to, to, to fight him. It's all about you and thinking through situations. And I've been playing since I was four, for 12 years, uh, for us, no, it's three, 13 years. And ever since I've been playing tournaments, it's been just like, you have to think your way out of situations. It's not, you can't BS around it because you can't, if you're not playing good, then you can't rely on somebody else to try to make you play better. You always have to shine and you always have to play within yourself and to show everybody that you are the real deal. I can come to Ned, Southern Valley, I can hit my ground strokes good. My forward and back, my back is my favorite shot by far. So I can just, I have confidence like most of my strokes. I've surprised myself so much with my speed. I'll be off the court, I'll be on the next court, and they'll hit a shot, and I'll run down somehow. I don't know how, I'll just run it down and I'll get it. And that shocks me because it's like I'm still out of the point. And that, I look back at it, I see that myself on, on tape, and I'm just like, did I just do that? I like, is that me? No, that's, 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 that's crazy. I drive myself, but I know without my family, I, them supporting me and pushing me, I couldn't, I couldn't do any of stuff because my brother and sister, they're always there no matter what. They're there. I call them before the match, after the match. I call them and they're like, it's like a routine, like a ritual we do. Before my match, before practice, I call them. I say, I'm going to go practice. Before my match, I'm about to play a match. They tell me, all right, just relax you, we support you, know we love you and everything. You go out there and kick butt. And if I win, they're there still supporting me, telling me how good I, I'm doing to keep it up, you know? And this has really helped me to keep me pushing forward and keep maintaining the level of play that I've been doing so far. You have to have the same level of intensity in practice as you do in a match. If you BS around in your practice and you try to go into a match and you're not and you're trying to go your hardest. You're not going to be there. You're going to do, you're going to show what you did in practice. So I believe you have to have the same level. You have to have that high intensity. Like, I always try to have the high intensity, even from hurt. You have to have the high intensity level. It's a loss to loss. And if you lose, you have to go back to the drawing board and keep keep working hard. If, you, if your backhand wasn't working, go hit a basket backhand. If wasn't working, pass the point. Whatever you didn't do good, you need to improve on. And you can, you can learn that from any loss. You can learn from any loss. Even if you lose, it doesn't matter. You can lose the number one guy or the number 1,000 guy. You may know that your back end wasn't going as well, but you're still like thinking that you did good because you won. And if, if you lost, you know, you want to work harder. You should want to work harder to improve on what you did wrong. But I want to go pro, but I don't want to just go pro and just say I'm out there and be somewhere in five points. I want to go pro. I want to play all the grand slams. I want to be number one, and I, I, I want to go there and show people that, you know, I can do this. I want to make an income. Yeah, on top of the world. I really push myself, and I want to win. I want to be number one. I want to win.